What we're looking at behind us is what um, is generally referred to in theatres as a fly tower, where all the scenery goes in and out. And what you're looking at is a structure. Very few brick structures remain like this because most of them have fallen down. This was built on the grand design, so the, all the plans and architecture went to Melbourne first, then they went to London, and then it got approved. So it started as the Grand Theatre. Some of the notables that have been through here are Vivian Leigh and Laurence Olivia. Anyone that was anyone touring the colonies would have toured through this, um, this theatre from 1910. The Royal New Zealand Ballet did Capelia in 1974, and then the theatre shut and became derelict and was used basically as a, a trucking warehouse until 1984 when um, the Chin family took it over and made it into Sammy's The Nightclub. Started off dinner and shows back in the mid 80s or 84 with um, Tony Christie, dinner and show, um, Freddie Bender, Donnie Tillotson, Lay Girls, Billy T. James, shows like that, you know, three course meal show, $25. It was pretty cheap back in those days, but we used to get Full houses, that was good fun. The Dunedin Sound bands like the Clean, Bats, Berlains, um, they draw big crowds. Um, the Pogues, um, Jesus and the Mary Chain, Violent Femmes, Billy Bragg, the Scratch Perry, they've all been great shows. But then we sort of had these male strip shows, which is completely different again, and we'll have 150 protesters outside. I started a pool hall back in 95. I thought the, the bands were slowing down, so I thought I'd, I'd do a change of art, uh, do something completely different. Sammy's is a true Dunedin icon with a grand and colourful history. But right now, it's a blank canvas. We want to hear your memories of Sammy's, but more importantly, we want to know what you want to see us do for its future.